guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Yoyis. And for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do short lengths, wispy, mega volume sets, different types of lashes for this look is because I kind of want to give it a little bit of dimension. The 0.04 are gonna be D curl and they're a little bit thicker than the 0.03. They're CC curl, so they're gonna be a lot softer, a lot lighter, and they don't have that much curl, so they're not gonna be as noticeable as the spikes. So the reason why I wanted to do it this way is to kind of give it a little texture. So this is my friend Marlene. If you guys haven't seen my Lash Babe is Killing It series and you have no idea who I'm talking about, but this is my friend Marlene. And she just recently had a baby, so her lashes have changed so much. I used to be able to put 16 millimeter lashes on her, and her natural lashes would still poke out through those 16 millimeter lashes and now trying to do a mega set on her it was totally different I wasn't able to do such thicker fans or longer lengths on her without feeling like I was gonna damage her lashes so the whole video is pretty much around me trying to keep the health of her lashes good if that makes sense so always Keep that in mind when it comes to doing a mega set on your clients. You don't want to be putting in really, really thick fans and long lengths on your clients knowing that their natural lashes won't be able to handle the lengths or the weight of those extensions. So always keep that in mind when it comes to a mega volume set. Okay, so now you already know I'm going to prep and prime my girl. So I'm pretty much just going to be washing her lashes, making sure to take off all that makeup because as you can see, she had makeup on her eyes, even though there wasn't any on her actual eyelashes. I always make sure to wash their lashes just in case any foundation or concealer gets on their lashes or even any eye creams if they're not wearing any makeup. So make sure to take that extra time to clean out your client's lashes. I feel like this has helped me out so much especially with retention. Not only do I wash their lashes, I also prime them with the Soko Lashes Primer. And the reason why I tell you guys to wash and prime their lashes, especially prime after you've washed their lashes, is because as you can see, there's leftover mascara that I didn't clean off with the cleanser. And stuff like this happens all the time where you don't notice that you didn't clean their lashes right and they still have some kind of strip lash glue or mascara left over on their lashes. So I take that extra time to really get in there with that primer if they really need it and just use that as like a double cleanser to get everything out of there and make sure that the lashes are ready to go nice and prime nice and squeaky clean again guys always make sure to take that extra time okay guys now for the complicated part if you guys have never done a doll eye type of styling then I recommend to learn that first before you try to actually add spikes or make your life even more complicated by trying to learn doll eye with spikes it's just it's gonna be a hot mess for you so I feel like this will be easy peasy if you already know how to do this type of styling all you have to do is add in the spikes very simple but it doesn't help that I made this styling very complicated for you guys by complicated I mean that I wrote it like a hot mess on the iPads. I am gonna have it here. I'm gonna slow it down for you guys and actually write it down here for you guys exactly the numbers that I use. That way I don't complicate it even more. But to pretty much sum it all up, I like to start off my doll eyes in the middle, of course, because that's where your longest lengths are gonna be at. So I'm gonna be doing 16 spikes in the middle with 13 millimeter lengths as the fillers and then work my way down towards the outside using 15 spikes 12 fillers and 14 spikes 11 fillers doing 15 spikes 12 fillers 14 spikes 11 fillers 13 spikes 10 fillers and 12 spikes 9 fillers finishing off in the inner corners so again guys i'm going to freeze it here for you guys and explain more in detail because i know that sounds a little complicated but once you see it actually written down then you'll know exactly what i'm talking about so if I were to start off from the outer corners, it would be 13 spikes, 10 fillers, 14 spikes, 11 fillers, 15 spikes, 12 fillers, 16 spikes, 13 fillers being the longest lengths right in the middle. And then working my way back down to 15 spikes, 12 fillers, 
14 spikes, 11 fillers, 13 spikes, 10 fillers, and 12 spikes, 9 fillers, finishing off with the shortest lengths in the inner corner. But if you still feel like the lash map is too messy, then don't worry. I'll have all the numbers in the description box below so you guys could just screenshot or just write it down. So for this lash map, I'm actually going to be doing it similar style to the wispy lash map that I did a while back if you guys haven't seen that lash map then i recommend to go watch it because i am going to be doing it similar to that one like as in how i place my spikes so when it comes to a doll eye i always like to work with my spikes starting right in the middle because that way i have more control of what goes where so if i place a spike right in the center on one eye i'm gonna go and do the exact same thing on the other eye because you want them to look very similar you don't want to just do one eye one way and then be wondering how are you going to do the other eye to make it match that eye. So that's why I like to go back and forth and try to make it as similar as possible. Also, I did want to mention that for my 16, it's going to be the biggest section if that makes sense. And I'm going to be adding 4 spikes within that section. As you can see, I'm just going to be every 3-4 to four lashes I'm going to be separating and I'm going to add a spike. But within that section 16... I'm going to be adding four spikes and then all the other lengths are going to have two to one spikes in it. Since I want the center of the eye or the lashes to be the center of attention, that's going to be the longer lengths. So I want to add more of that section, more lashes in that section to pretty much open up the eye and give it that doll eye effect. That is the whole point of the doll eyelashes, if that makes sense. As you can see, I have four spikes within that section 16, and that is going to be all the drama right there, right in the middle. So now I'm going to be working my way down the outer corners, and on the outer corners, I'm going to be adding two spikes for each number, and on the inner corners, I'm going to be adding one spike for each number. And I'll show you guys in a bit exactly what I'm talking about and why I did this for this set in particular. So my friend Marlene, like I said, she just recently had a baby and she lost half of her lashes. There's not that many lashes that I could work with. So the reason why I'm doing it very light is because I don't want to damage her lashes. So if you have a client that does have a lot more natural lashes, then add as many spikes as you want. If you want it to be dramatic, add more spikes. But with Marlene, I was trying to leave enough lashes for me to actually add Mega Volume Fans in there. So that's why I decided to just not add so many spikes since there wasn't that much to work with. So now I'm just going to finish off the rest of the spikes and then start working my way in the inner corners. And again, I'm only going to be adding one spike per number. And if I feel like I need another one, then I'll add another one. But I just want to keep it light and simple. That way I have enough lashes to work with with my Mega Volume Fans. And if you guys don't know how to do Mega Volume Fans, then I'll be making a video on the difference between a Volume Fan and a Mega Volume Fan if you guys are still not sure how to do a Mega Volume Fan. So keep your eyes out for that video if you are struggling with the difference between a Volume and a Mega Volume Fan. So that video will be up soon, don't worry. Okay, one tip I will give you guys is... Do not be adding really big mega volume fans on the inner corners if you see that they have lashes like my friend Marlene here. Her lashes will not be able to stand a really thick big fan because of how small and little they are so I recommend starting her off with volume fans and then working your way up to bigger fans if you feel like their natural lashes could withstand it so a bunch of her lashes are going to be volume fans mixed in with mega volume fans and especially her inner corners i'm starting her off with volume fans because like i said i don't want to be adding extra weight that is unnecessary and knowing that her lashes will not be able to handle it so be careful and keep that in mind when it comes to your client's lashes health. But I'm still going to be doing fans with the 0 0.03 lashes. So technically it's still considered a mega volume fan. They're just going to be a lot softer and a lot lighter. 
And also the reason why I like to work my inner corners first, I do this for every client, doesn't matter who it is, is because it helps me get those lashes out of the way first. When I first started as a beginner lash artist, I struggled so much with the inner corners that I wouldn't even do them. So now I make sure that I do them to pretty much get the hard part out of the way. And this is what helped me get over that struggle of not knowing how to lash the inner corners and if you do struggle with the inner corners then I recommend for you to use tape tape will be your best friend and if you haven't seen my taping video then in that video I talk about how I use tape in so many different ways to pretty much help me and make life so much easier so now that I see that my lashes are getting thicker, or not my lashes, my client's lashes are getting thicker, then I'm going to start making bigger fans. As you can see, if I see a lash that it's able to handle that kind of weight, then I'm going to start making bigger fans to start creating that mega volume fan look. So I'm just going to be going back and forth, and if I see a lash that I can't lash, like the little baby lash, I'm going to scoot it out of the way, and then place a lash on the lashes that are healthy enough to be lashed. So again guys, you don't want to be lashing little lashes, that's just going to damage their lash. So by this time you guys kind of get the point of how to do a volume or mega volume set. It's pretty much the same concept. So now I'm just going to insert some cute little music here so you guys could enjoy the process. And if you felt like this video was helpful so far, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you guys don't miss out on future videos. So if I feel like I have any more tips to give you, which most likely I will, then I'll come back on and talk to you guys a little bit more. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit.
right guys so that pretty much wraps up today's video i'm just gonna fan her out and i did seal her lashes in with soko lashes sealer i just didn't get any footage of that so now i'm just gonna brush them out i do recommend that when you use sealer let them dry for a bit before you brush them out because if you brush them while they're still sealing on the lashes you might get her lashes all wet and it's gonna look a little not so fluffy anymore so i recommend to just wait a little bit and then brush out her lashes and dry them out with the fan so i'm just gonna finish her off take off her ipads brush them out and then take some pictures for you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did like i said make sure to give this video a thumbs up so i know that you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button because you guys don't want to miss out on all the new content that i have coming your way and especially with my new lash babe is killing it series you guys don't want to miss out on all those new lash babes that i have coming your way so all right guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye